Okay, extractions of aluminium uh, is uh, similar to extractions of uh, sodium. So this is illustrations, uh, illustrations of the apparatus uh, or the uh, instrument setup in extracting aluminium. So the image below shows illustrations of the design to extract aluminium in industry by electrolysis. The very first things that we need to know is the, the electrodes used in this process. Uh. Now, uh, the electrode is the black one, and this is electrodes, uh, and this one also, the black one is also the uh, electrodes. Uh. So we have two electrodes, uh. it's the one of the electrodes, and this is another uh, electrodes. Now, what are the material used? Uh, the electrodes used in this process, uh, what are the material used as the electrodes? So uh, you can see here, I purposely put it black in color, okay, to show that this is, I uh, just want to show you that this is actually a uh, carbon, uh, carbon, or so graphite. A note, we use graphite, and a cathode also we use graphite. Now just now for extractions of sodium, only the A note we use the graphite, right? Okay, but uh, for extractions of aluminium, both A note and cathodes, uh, we use graphite. Okay, so this is about the electrodes. Uh. Okay, uh, what are the raw material that we use in this process? Okay, the raw materials uh, we use as an electrolyte. Uh. The answer is we use uh, bauxite. Now bauxite is uh, aluminium oxide. Okay, this bauxite uh, is uh, aluminium oxide. So we use uh, aluminium oxide as a raw material in extracting uh, aluminium. The bauxite decomposes to form, form aluminium ions and oxide ions when melted. If you heat it in melt, it will form aluminium ions and oxide ion. So aluminium oxide heat heated. Okay, it melt and form aluminium ions and oxide ions. After it forms the ions, uh, and these ions are free to move. So the positive ions will go to the cathode. Eh? So the aluminium ions are uh, attracted to cathodes. And the negative ions uh, or, or oxide ions are attracted to anodes. And other than bauxite, eh? okay, we add cryolite into the electrolyte. Okay, so cryolite is also added to bauxite during the heating. Uh, in exam, uh, they may ask you why we need to add cryolite. What is the functions of the cryolite? Eh? Okay, uh, that is something that you need to know. Okay, other than bauxite, we have a uh, cryolite. Uh, so what's the functions of the cryolite? Eh? Okay. Uh, answer, the functions of the cryolite is to reduce the melting points of bauxite. We want the aluminum oxides melt easier. Therefore, we use uh, cryolite. Eh? Okay, so the electrodes anode and cathodes, uh, both the electrodes are graphite and then uh, the raw material that we use uh, is uh, aluminium oxide or bauxite. So we heat bauxite until it melts and then uh, we run this uh, electrolysis uh, to uh, separate the aluminiums from bauxite. Uh, what are the chemical reactions at uh, cathodes? So at cathodes, aluminiums, uh, here are the cathodes again, okay? the aluminium ions are discharged to form the molten aluminium metals. Cathode is negative. Uh? Cathode is negative. So therefore, the positive ions will go there. The positive aluminum ion, uh, it will go to uh, the cathode. So aluminum, three positive. So the aluminum ions will go to the cathode and then it will be discharged there. Okay, it will be discharged there. So aluminum ion will receive electron to form aluminum atom. Uh, okay. Okay, that's what happens at cathode. This is the A node and this is the cathode. At A node, the oxide ions are discharged uh, to form oxygen gas. So the oxide ions, uh, it will be discharged to form oxygen gas. Actually, this one, the two is uh, so we uh, subscript two. So two oxide after ex uh, extractions, it will form oxygen. So that is what happens at uh, A node. Okay, because oxide carry negative charge, eh, so it will move to A node. Uh, another thing uh, that may be asked in the exam is uh, they will ask you why why these carbon electrodes need to be replaced periodically. Periodically means that uh, like uh, for example every month uh, okay you need to have uh, uh, new electrodes okay or uh, or every two weeks. So these carbons uh, okay uh, must be changed from time to time periodically. Uh, in the exam they may ask you why. Why we need to replace this uh, electrodes? Why why can't we use this uh, for uh, maybe uh, 
very long times okay yeah few months uh, okay why we need to change it periodically uh, that is uh, what you need to know uh, okay now the reasons that we change the electrons periodically is because the temperature uh, the temperature of this electrolyte is very high okay this aluminum oxide uh, we heat it until it melts uh, okay so the temperature is very high so uh, such temperature 980 degrees celsius the oxygen burns the carbon anodes okay so at such high temperature okay these uh, carbon anodes will uh, will be burned with the presence of oxygen gas okay so when it burns then it will become thinner and thinner and then finally uh, it can it won't function anymore this is another famous question uh, why the electrodes need to be replaced periodically but not uh, but not use it for a very long time okay so that's what you need to know about uh, extractions of uh, sodium and extractions of aluminium eh? okay so in your notes here i would like you to write uh, sodium chloride okay heated and you form sodium ion and chloride ions eh? okay uh, electrodes the anode is the is, is graphite eh? graphite and the, ca the cathode is iron and then at cathode sodium receive electron to form sodium atoms eh? and then so at a node this is for uh, extractions of sodium okay okay at a node the chloride ions it will form chlorine gas the chloride ion form chlorine gas by releasing electrons okay so for extractions of aluminium electrolyte that we use is uh, bauxite okay which is aluminium oxide this aluminium oxide when heated it will form aluminum oxide when heated it will form aluminum ions and uh, oxide ions eh? okay two aluminum ions and three oxide ions and the anode use is graphite and the cathode use is also uh, graphite okay why cryolite is added into molten bauxite in the process uh, this is to reduce the to reduce the melting point of uh, bauxite and then at a node at a node the oxide is discharged to form oxygen eh? form oxygens and then at cat cathodes uh, this is given already aluminium receive electrons to form aluminium I uh, atoms uh, another thing that you need to know is why the carbon electrodes need to be replaced periodically that is because the carbon will burn, sir, because the temperature is 980 degrees Celsius. So the oxygens will burn the carbon, sir.